All right, in this video, we're gonna explore some of the graphs for exponential and logarithmic functions. So the first part wants you to graph y equals four to the x power. And you can see it's an exponential growth function. It gets bigger as it goes to the right. You can plug in any number in for your exponent. So its domain will be all real numbers. And it does look like it seems to kind of sharply turn and go straight up, but I promise you, if I made my Y scale way higher, so I'll just put a ridiculous amount of numbers in here, that X value will still increase. So its domain is gonna be all real numbers. I can plug in any number I want. Now, as far as the range goes, it doesn't seem to wanna to go lower than a certain value. And you can figure out that value by seeing what it approaches. As my X values keep going in the negative direction, it never seems to give me a number at zero or lower. It always approaches zero, but it is always gonna be a little bit higher, never actually touches zero. So you see that, how small that is, 0 0.000034. So the range, all the numbers that are in the Y values are gonna be bigger than zero or zero to infinity in interval notation. So that makes the asymptote horizontal. By graphing y equals zero, you can see that the graph really just approaches that line, but ultimately never, um, never touches it. So that's my horizontal asymptote. It doesn't have a vertical asymptote because it'll still go to the right forever. It just will not go at, it, it will not touch zero or go below it. So your horizontal asymptote, the x-axis is y equals zero. Now its inverse is a logarithmic graph. When you graph log base four of x, it acts as a reflection. It will not have a domain of all real numbers because it's not gonna go to zero. You can plug in any numbers above zero. So you'd say zero to infinity but you don't have, you can't plug in zero. It gives you undefined and you can't plug in a negative. It gives you undefined. So all the values for X are limited to anything above zero. You can do like 0 0.01. You can get really close to zero, but you can't actually type in zero. The range is unlimited. That's gonna be all real numbers because this will go down forever. And if I plug in a really high X number, like a million, or if I keep going, that Y value is gonna keep going up. It doesn't approach a value, it just steadily goes up higher. So Y can be anything, all real numbers. Now the asymptote is gonna be vertical this time because it never goes to the left of the Y axis. The Y axis is x equals zero, that's a vertical asymptote. And so you can say x equals zero, and there's that, that straight line up and down where the graph goes, but never, it's like never touch, never even touches it. It's got a little barrier, you know, just kind of keep going down, it wants to avoid it. So you can summarize the results of that. If I graph all three of these, And if I graph y equals x, you can see that these graphs are mirror images over this diagonal line y equals x. That's, that's how you can tell they're inverses of each other, they're reflections over that line. And what that means is the x and y values are swapped. Look at the intercepts. This one has an intercept of one for the y, this one has an intercept of one for the x, they switch.